Greetings, this is another Makeup Professor Love Hate series and I'm focusing today on Philosophy's Divine Color. I wanted to start by talking about how I came to this line. It started with skincare. I never am completely loyal to a single brand, but I used mostly Clinique in my 20s and mostly Shiseido in my 30s. Then I hit my 40s. Uh oh. So in my 40s, the Shiseido stopped working and so I moved to Philosophy and I really found that Philosophy worked pretty well. I mixed in a few other products with it, but by and large, philosophy got me through my 40s and even part of my 50s. In that process of using philosophy, philosophy came out with a color line and I used their original color products and then they've come out with this divine product line, which if you go on the philosophy website, it will kick you over to QVC because they exclusively have it there. One of the things I like about this and the reason that I'll travel with it is when I go for work, I like to have something just very polished and light and pretty. And that's what the philosophy products do. You're not going to go outlandishly out there on color or anything like that. They're just very soft, soft, pretty, pretty colors. But I really do like the products with the exception of the mascara like I needed another mascara like a hole in the head that um, the spring collection came with the mascara it was unopened I'd forgotten completely about it the mascara contains parabens and phenoxyethanol but other than that the products earn a green dot for me that does not mean they are natural philosophy is not a natural line I think something about their packaging, because it appeals so much to a kind of new agey kind of, um, I don't know, way of being in the world makes you think, oh, it's a natural product. It is not natural. It is very, very high tech product and it uses a lot of unnatural ingredients. And so even the products I will use today that earn a green dot for me, they have no phenoxyethanol, they have no parabens, do have other things in them that people looking for a natural product are not going to like. If you are a natural girl, this is not a line for you. That is a very long introduction into philosophy. And so now what I'm gonna do is start with the bare face I have two of these philosophy kits. Uh, one comes looking like this, the other one came packaged slightly differently. These have a thing where it slides to the left. You can put a little photograph in there or they say put a, I don't know, inspirational quote or something like that. I haven't done that. What the kit looks like, and I haven't used the brushes at all, it does have a full-size mirror. It has four shadows. In here comes a mascara, but I have popped in one of their lip glosses. So it does come with two lipsticks. This is their Luminizer, which is a primer or a highlighter. And so this is the palette I will be using. Soft White, Petal Pink, Delicate Taupe, and Warm Chestnut. I am going to use a few other of their products as well. I want to throw on a little bit of lip color because I can't even see my lips right now. I feel better. I have some lip color on. What I will do is start with that petal pink and apply it all over the eye from eyelash to brow bone. I will go back and highlight under the brow bone, but first I want to give just a soft contour. And to do that, I am going to use the taupe color. I want to intensify a bit at the corner, and the liner that I'm going to use today is this navy and a chocolate. I'm going to use the navy. I also have this in black and plums. This can be used either wet or dry, and this can be used as a shadow. And so that's what I'm going to use it as first, and then I will wet it and use it as a liner. The eyeliner from Philosophy came with this brush, which is called a defining liner brush, I think. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but it has a very unusual shape to it. And so I'm going to wet that. For my brows, I'm going to go back to this taupe color that I was using for the crease and use that just to kind of fill out the brows and level them out a little. I'll work at the top of this brow and at the bottom of this one. The last thing I'm going to do in terms of color for the eye is just uh, do that brow bone color. Because my skin is ultra, ultra dry in the winter, I have to watch out for products that are going to hug my wrinkles. So what I have found is that in applying this foundation, I'm going to have to get something to hold that back. 
I put on cream first, especially where I have wrinkles. The luminizers do double as primers, and so I am going to use that in places where I'm not as worried about um, wrinkles. This product, it is phenoxyethanol free, and it is free of paraben, so that's good, but it does contain um, talc, and that is not so good because for me, it will dry my skin out. I also don't know the source of the talc. That um, greatly determines the level of potential contamination of the talc. Talc itself is a natural product. This is the Philosophy Foundation. This does have phenoxyethanol in it, so it's not an everyday product for me. Um, my shade is light. It comes with this little brush. I do use this little brush for some things, but obviously that is not for me a foundation brush. I'm going to start with this kind of flat brush. I'm going to spray it with my mineral water. This is fairly pigmented, so a little goes a long way, and I'm going to just start by stippling it onto those areas where I'm not worrying about wrinkles. Now what I am going to do is to take the brush that I got with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I'm going to spray that with my mineral water. And I'm going to start brushing this out and just buffing it into the skin. Finally, I go to the little brush. I already have eye cream on. Don't try this at home if you don't. And this doubles as the concealer. I do have to touch it up throughout the day with moisturizer. I just have wickedly, wickedly dry skin. I do like that foundation because it does seem to give me some protection against the elements and it does not settle as much as most products most foundations would. I have tried many, many, many foundations, um, high-end, low-end, everything in between. As foundations go, this was a pretty good one for me. It's kind of unusual that I can get by without a concealer. I have massive concealing problems, and it's not ideal, but I'm surprised at how much coverage I can get from this. Now, I'm sorry it has the phenoxyethanol, so it's not a great choice for me, but I'm keeping it in my rainy day kit. This uh, product by Philosophy is another of those divine illuminators, as they call them, the things that work. This can work as a contour, it can work as a blush, this can work as the primer, it can work as a highlighter. Um, this one is in natural and orchid. I'm gonna use this to contour. I, I don't really go without contouring. I can also use that color if I want for a blush, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take a gamble. And yes, that works. Happy! I do have this color, Golden Rose, I think it's called. It is Philosophy. It is a green dot product. It has no phenoxyethanol or parabens. It's a very um, pretty color. So what do I like about the Philosophy Divine Color Makeup? I like the polish it gives me. When I need to be professional, I often turn to this line because I, I know it's not going to be too far out there. Not funky enough for me on a daily basis. I would get probably a little bored being this um, sedate and kind of serene and put together. I like to play around with color. Um, you know, I pierced my nose when I was 50, so obviously I have some sort of a wild hair. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Make it a great day. Bye.